Okay, I'm going to show you how to take some of the data that we worked with today in class and then put it into an Excel sheet so that you can analyze it a little bit more easily. So we're using this FET simulation with the basic stuff with pH. Um, if you look at the sliders over here, make sure it's on logarithmic and then make sure that you know that this one on the left in the red is your hydronium ion concentration. This one on the right is your hydroxide ion concentration. And then this pull down menu right here is what will show you uh, the different substance that we can test. And so if we go ahead and look at um, orange juice and we'll see that the numbers here are what we're going to want to put into the Excel sheet. And so just I'm trying to show you which um, which portion of this animation we're going to actually draw from. So I'm going to slide this out of the way so we can see. If you look at the hydronium ion concentration for um, orange juice, this is what your spreadsheet should look like. And then you can simply just enter the numbers. So you put 3.2 and then you're going to put a capital E and then you're going to put negative 4. That capital E is the same thing that the EE button on our calculators uh, are showing where it's the exponent. So this is times 10 to the negative 4th. To double check to make sure it's in the right format, you right click on the individual cell and you can actually highlight all these cells to do that. So highlight the four cells, right click and click format cells down here. In the format cells section, uh, you want to have the number tab clicked on and then click on scientific and then you can put two decimals is fine and then click OK and that will make sure that we have the right values in the right uh, format for them. For hydroxide ion concentration you are going to put uh, the value for orange juice was 3.2 times 10 to the negative 11th so again that value is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 11th um, we already formatted the cell itself, so it should be scientific notation and stay there. Now, these are the numbers that you're going to have to enter a formula to show a little bit of a calculation so we can start comparing these values and compare them between substances. So anytime you are in Excel to write a formula, you just hit the equal sign. That tells the uh, program itself that we're about to enter a calculation. And then this makes it really easy because for this one, all we want to do is the hydrogen ion concentration, which is the same as hydronium, divided by the hydroxide ion concentration. So our hydronium ion concentration is in this cell. So if you just click on that, that value will pop up right here. So we are using uh, cell C3, divide that by cell D3, and then just hit enter. It gives us a value of one times 10 to the seventh. And then if we multiply those by each other, do the exact same thing, but instead of division, you'll do equal sign C3, multiply button, uh, D3, and hit enter and we get 1.02 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now for the next substance, if I'm just gonna use an example drain cleaner, I'll show you a quick trick to make your calculations a lot smoother. Uh, the value for this one was 1.0 and again E to the negative 13th. The value for hydroxide was 1.0 E to the negative one. And we want to do the same calculation so you don't have to repeat entering those in. If you click on the cell above it, move the cursor until you see that little black plus sign. Click and drag down. It will copy the formula there for you. So you can see up in this corner it shows the same one but different cells. Do the same thing here. It will calculate it for you again. And then we can compare these values. Um, once you put these in for, I'd say do at least seven or eight of the different substances and then compare this ratio as well as this value and then we'll talk about what those conclusions or what your conclusion is on Monday.